A crisis can occur in any of our schools at any time. This video is to help provide guidance and supplement the drills that we train for crisis readiness each year. Hold, the education process continues. A hold is initiated when there is a situation that requires students and staff to remain in their classrooms or stay out of access areas. During a hold, the education process continues. Medical emergency indeed. This could be a physical altercation, a medical issue, or a developing situation. Ajay, you gonna? We need some help down the PE. An administrator will issue an announcement saying, hold in your room or area, clear the halls. This will be said twice. Everyone should stay in their classroom or area. If you are in an open area like a cafeteria, gym, or outside, remain in those areas unless directed otherwise by staff. Teachers should quickly sweep the hallways for nearby students. Take accountability of any students not in your class, then normal education procedures resume. Once the situation is resolved, the all clear will be announced by an administrator. Secure the building. The education process continues. Secure the building is initiated when there is a general threat in the vicinity of the school. The source of the threat may be known or unknown. During a secure the building, the education process continues. An administrator will issue an announcement saying, Attention all staff and students, we are in a secure the building. Attention all staff and students, we are in a secure the building. All outside activities are canceled and students are brought inside. Students in modular or trailer classrooms will remain there and those classrooms are to be secured from outside entry. Staff should monitor the building and the grounds and report any unusual activity to the administrators or the police as necessary. Adults should account for all students and staff and always ensure that your classroom doors are locked. Lockdown. The education process stops. A lockdown is initiated when there is an immediate hostile threat to school staff and students. The threat may be inside the school or on the school grounds. An administrator will first call 911, then will issue an announcement saying, Lockdown, lockdown. All attention all staff and students, we are in a lockdown. All attention all staff and students, we are in a lockdown. Remember your defend options. This will be said twice. Teachers should quickly sweep the hallways for nearby students. Turn off classroom lights. Drop window shade over vision glass of the classroom door. Strategically pre-placed furniture near the door will help create layers of protection. When the threat is imminent, use that furniture to assist in blocking the door. Okay, get into concealment position. May I have some help, please? All cell phones should be silenced. If you find yourself stuck in a common area, gym, cafeteria, or hallway, consider escaping to find cover or escape outside if you're close to exit doors. Go to an off-site assembly area for cover and concealment. Evacuate. Use appropriate safety strategy for the hazard. Evacuate is initiated when there is a need to move students and staff from one location to another for safety reasons. We have a chemical leak and we need to evacuate the school. An administrator will put the building in the appropriate emergency action. Depending on the situation, may contact 911. Then contact PWCS Security at extension 9999 and the Level Associate's Office. All seven students on campus are notified of the evacuation.
Staff should lead students to a designated evacuation location. Account for students and adults. Notify administration of missing, extra, or injured students and adults. And all clear will be announced when the situation has been resolved. Shelter in place. Use appropriate safety strategy for the hazard. A shelter in place is initiated when specific protective actions are needed based on a threat or hazard. An administrator will issue an announcement twice saying, all staff and students, please shelter in your designated tornado safe zones. Training should include response to threats such as tornadoes, earthquakes, hazardous material situations, or other local threats. It's important to keep up with drills so that students and staff know what to do during emergencies. These videos highlight the specific terminology in an emergency situation. For students wanting to learn more, please ask questions to your teachers, security officers, and administrators. For staff wanting to learn more, please review the Emergency Action Chart and District Crisis Management Plan.